Yeah, so for this project, we've recruited um, a small group of our participants um, to get involved in basically feeding in their ideas um, into a mural that's going to go in transport stores. So we started off um, actually going around the transport museum, seeing um, the objects and the collections and what's, you know, um, being exhibited at the moment. But then we also got to go behind the scenes and see in the stores and have all that with a, a dedicated tour from um, a creator or Clara Ablett. So they got lots of, you know, really detailed information and inspiration from that. Um, and then they went away as a group, met with Frizz, who is a graffiti artist we're working with, and kind of communicated what they thought was important, things that they'd like to see. And then basically today what they're doing is learning the skills to actually put that in a mural that's going to be um, put up in the stores. Um, so there's been a really kind of learning, getting back into the museums and doing something really cool and creative with all that. Well, it's... Something that we haven't really engaged with is um, young people and also this type of art medium with um, street art. It's something that's very new to us. And also we have our new transport store and we really wanted to celebrate our collections in some way um, in this new space. And that's why we thought this would be a great way to incorporate all of these different elements and have something that will be permanent that people have been able to contribute to, but will also um, show how amazing our collection is the, the breadth and the depth of the history and of the people associated with all of these vehicles. My name is Frizz and I'm a visual artist based out of Northern Ireland and what I'm most known for is working on large scale um, murals with spray paint. Yeah I mean my work tends to be um, figurative based you know I tend to draw people a lot of the time nature and animals stuff like that all things that have quite loose curvy lines so then switching that over to work on a subject matter that has a lot of straight lines mechanical it's really interesting challenge for me so I've found that to be um, the the biggest sort of satisfying challenge to do you know like it, it's it's making me work a little bit harder you know not just falling into the type of things that I usually do as well which is great and also because the museum usually what I do if there's a lot of ideas I pair strip it back a lot and try to condense things but like it's such a massive collection so that's the other challenge as well is just trying to get a good representation of the entire collection and the age of the collection from how you know, the older pieces to the more modern kind of retro pieces that they have as well so it's been interesting and then also working with the group as well and getting them involved in the actual process has been really great. I come into this um, not from an artistic background at all, so completely fresh, fresh slate. And I was really surprised at like how much I learned when I was at the Folk and Transport Museum. I got to see some really, really cool um, uh, bits and pieces, especially in the archive and stuff. And like I wasn't expecting to enjoy the spray painting as much. I kind of did this as like a, this is completely random. This is really fun. And I uh, really, really enjoyed it. So how much, um, how tactile it is and like how good it looks and how forgiving the spray painting is, it was really nice. I'm Natalie and I'm taking part in this because I like experimenting with different art mediums and um, I haven't tried spray painting before and thought it'd be a good opportunity to give it a go. It's definitely the first kind of street art um, workshop we've done and to be honest, given the last two years, it's one of the first in real life workshops we've done and I think you can kind of see by the turnouts, we've got near 100% attendance. That, doesn't happen that often. Um, uh, I think we, the appetite for in real life stuff is is really back, but also just giving the, these young people a, a chance to put something permanent in a, in a museum space is unique. Um, and like for their ideas to go into a, a space which will then be seen by the public, I think is amazing. Uh, it's also a really good opportunity for us to work with um, projects like RRR, Reimagine, Remake, Replay, um, which have been doing amazing project with uh, young people all across uh, Northern Ireland and engaging them, especially during the period of lockdown. And it's really nice to be in real life talking to these people and working with them and seeing them create something um, and involving the Transport Museum in that is, is really exciting. And it's also really exciting to be working with a local artist um, such as Frizz and getting their ideas. And it's also about seeing how different people 
view the collection. You know, sometimes within the museum we have a fixed view of, of how the vehicles and the different um, objects should be portrayed and interpreted, but it's getting young people and different artists in um, just takes a different viewpoint. And it's something that we hadn't really considered before. And I think it's brought new ideas in and it's shed new light and it's it's really invigorated the collection. I think hope that we can do something like this again in the future. We are creating a mural for the Transport Museum store and we, myself and the group, got a backstage pass to have a look and see um, all the items that they have um, that aren't in the museum and obviously got to see the museum as well. So we're creating something that reflects maybe um, all the different aspects of the types of vehicles that the museum has. I got their input, input of the types of things that they were attracted to in the collection and really got an understanding of how we can view the collection um, the idea, the concept of the people involved with the vehicles as well, the people who made them, the people who used them, and the people who drove them. So we're getting ideas collectively, and then I'm taking those to come up with um, a concept, which is what we're working on at the moment. So they are creating this grid at the moment, and then we're going to get the sketch, and they're actually physically going to be helping me paint as well, and hopefully creating stencils later on today that we can include in the finished mural. Trying to do freelance animation, um, but any sort of other creative skill I can sort of pick up along the way is generally quite useful. Um, so yeah, definitely continue doing. I think. So my process for the mural was to go to the museum and take some good reference photos of the vehicles. I imported those images into Procreate um, and selected vehicles that the group had mentioned in particular. I outlined them and tried a few different variations of adding colour to the piece, but there's so much detail in all of the mechanical elements that I reverted back to the line work. And by colouring the line work, it keeps the entire piece uniform while still adding colour and interest to the final piece. really cool like the you can really see like our influence on it as well like our ideas and everything and I think the the way it's layered and the colors and everything are really cool and yeah it was just it was really fun to be part of I think it's fantastic especially like um, seeing the people as well incorporated into it and just seeing how um, the ideas that we came up with were really taken on board and then like added on in such a fantastic way it was like a really awesome experience and really got to have participated in it